Welcome to another Gallagher Law Library tour video. This virtual tour is intended to orient you to the library facilities and policies. For information about library services for students, please visit our website. The library is located on the lower two levels of Gates Hall. You can access the library's main doors by taking the elevators in the lobby of the law school down to level L1. As the library is currently only open to the UW Law community, the main doors will remain closed throughout the quarter. As such, you will need to swipe your Husky card at the card reader to the side of the doors to enter. Be sure that you only swipe for yourself and do not allow others to follow you into the space, as Maya is here, even if you know them. As you enter the library, you will notice that the space has great light, and that is thanks to the skylights on the first level. They help keep the space bright year-round. Course reserve materials will be available on the shelves directly in front of you as you enter the library. To check these materials out to yourself, use the self-checkout station located at the information desk. Turning to the right after entering the library, there are several important places to note. The first is the information desk where you can check out books and other materials when staffed. Next is the reference area, which is off to the left when passing the information desk. Finally, across from the reference area is one of our copy alcoves where you can scan and email materials to yourself as well as print. Seating at the study tables in the reference area is first come, first serve, and does not need to be reserved. In addition to housing a scanner where you can scan and email PDF copies to yourself, the copy alcove houses a printer if you need to use it. To find out more about how to print, visit the Law Student Services page on the library's website. Across from the information desk, there are a number of large study tables. Each study space at these tables is reservable using the library's seat reservation system, which is accessible through the library's Law Student Services page. You can also scan the QR code at any open seat to instantly reserve it. This area is a popular study area as the sunshine coming through the skylights and large windows create an inviting space. The Law Student Lounge is also available on the main floor. It is the one area in the library that is a designated eating space. To enter the lounge, swipe your Husky card using the card reader next to the main door. All of the space in the Law Student Lounge is first come, first serve, and no reservations are needed. There are many comfy places to relax in the lounge, including a few plush beanbag chairs near the windows. Here, you can enjoy your lunch and watch the squirrels scamper across Parrington Lawn. Also on L1 are a number of very quiet study carols at the back of the main floor. These carols are reservable and are a great option if you want a study area free from distractions. Each carol has an individual light and power source if you need to plug in. Let's now head down to the lower level, which is called L2. You can either take the main staircase down or use the elevator located next to the information desk. Upon exiting the elevator on L2, you will see an open area with a lot of study carols. Many of these carols are reservable, but please note they may lack power. This open space also includes tables that can be reserved and soft seating, which is available on a first come first serve basis. There are many carols located along the walls amongst the book stacks, which you can reserve. And there are also reservable carols located along the exterior walls as you walk around the space. These tend to be the quietest study spaces in the library as they are removed from the main thoroughfares. The shelving in this area of L2 is called the compact stacks, and you can use the electronic controls at the end of each stack to access the materials. To do so, make sure the light is green and push the red button if it is not, then push the arrows in the direction that you would like the shelves to move. Voila! Going back to the elevator, you will find the entrance to a horseshoe-shaped space that contains our 12 reservable study rooms. Please note, these rooms are currently limited to two people per room. You can use the same reservation system to reserve a study room that you use to reserve carrels, tables, and other study spaces in the library. You can access the study rooms using your Husky card. Note that food is not allowed in the study rooms and you must continue to wear your mask in the space, even when the door is closed. The Commons is a more open space within the library and is located near the study rooms. To access the Commons, swipe your Husky card. The Commons contains several shelves of books that are free for the taking as well as lockers for use by student organizations. 
The floor furniture was designed to be movable, but we asked that you leave it in place due to COVID safety protocols. This space is not intended to be as quiet as the rest of the library. In fact, it is intended for group collaboration. Library staff have organized the tables into study pods, which you can reserve using the seat reservation system. There are also two phone rooms near the main entrance to the commons that you can reserve to make private calls. At the very back of the commons is a meditation room. If you would like access to this room, please contact the Dean for Students. There are two sets of restrooms in the library, one on L1 and one on L2, which is the lower level. There are also restrooms located outside of the main doors on either side of the elevator bank. Please note the occupancy limits when using the restrooms. There are also several water fountains throughout the library. One is located near the information desk. There are two others next to the restrooms on the main and lower floors. A lot of people ask us at the information desk, where are rooms L201 and 202? They're classrooms, there are classes in those rooms, but they're in the library. And I'm here to tell you, they're on the second floor, the lower floor of the library, and they're right behind me here. That's it for your virtual library tour. We look forward to seeing you in the library space soon.